Stick around for today's video and I'm going to show you these really cute bags that I've been making. Oh my gosh, don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. On this channel, I love to share with you all of my favorite hobbies. This ranges from gardening, to cooking, to sewing, to knitting. So if it's uh, something that we can do by hand, chances are I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna share it here on this channel with you. <laughs> you can find me everywhere online as Patty Magnets. If this is your first time here on the channel, I would like to extend a huge welcome and invite you to subscribe to the channel today and make sure that you like the video and follow along. I have a fun back catalog with all kinds of things you can watch. I have projects, tutorials, gardening, some cooking, uh, all sorts of things. So I invite you to subscribe and take a look at that back catalog because there is some good stuff in there. If you are one of my many wonderful, beautiful, fabulous returning viewers, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you watching. If you have craft loving friends, please let them know about the channel and ask them to have a look and be sure to subscribe. I'm broadcasting to you today from a cloudy, dreary, chilly Virginia Beach. It's we were supposed to have sun all week and you can kind of tell here at the window it's dreary it's like 48 degrees it's overcast <sighs> i will be so happy for this winter to end honestly i'm done for projects today i do have a knitting project i can share with you it's it's small um, but it's really pretty and um, I'm going to show it to you today as an unfinished object and that will inspire me to go ahead and get it finished because um, I really could be wearing these right now with the weather like it is. Um, it's currently living in my um, thimble and thread make uh, project bag which I really like. Uh, the little ribbon thing broke uh, so I I'm going to fix it myself. I have some little cording and now that I've been sewing and making my own bags, I know how to fix it. <laughs> so anyway, but I still love this bag. The fabric is so cute. Look at the little foxes. I find with these bags that it's really more about the fabrics than anything else. So, okay, let me show you what I've got. This uh, is a paid for pattern. I have knitted this pattern before, though not in this yarn. The slant knits, it's by uh, Cookie A, and I don't have any other further information here. Um, I like this pattern, I think it's really pretty. Uh, it's got a nice, just a small lace panel so you can practice your lace knitting, and um, they look really, really pretty when they're finished try one on for you so you can see I've just got to put the thumb in thumb and weave in ends and they're finished aren't they beautiful and I don't I don't know I guess you could block them I don't feel like they need blocking because once you wear them you're filling out that um, the lace stitch so I I, I probably won't block them. I will finish them and then proceed to wear them immediately. I did add a little extra here uh, and a little extra here. I tend to like a long cuff on both ends. I like my mitts to come up over my fingers on the bottom. I just think it, to me it looks nicer. They wear a little bit better and they actually keep my hands warmer. So I think this is a really pretty pattern. Let me come in where you can really see the lace work. So it's like you do a lace panel and then you go back to your knit two, purl two, and then you do another lace panel and then it's the knit two, purl two. They're actually really pretty. 
So all I have to do is put in that thumb and they'll be done. So I'm going to get that done and the next time I check in with you, they're gonna be finished. Um, I am using um, a Rowan. I've had this wool forever. I mean, I'm not kidding. This wool is old as time. Um, it is a pure wool, it's a four ply. And let me show you the tag. Colorway on this, let's see, does it say? It's 50 grams and it's 175 yards or 160 meters. I don't know what the colorway is. It just gives me a lot number. I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I don't know. It's I like a light blue, which I, I like a light blue. Uh, let's see. Um, I did not leave the <laughs> I did not leave the needle in. So let's see. I wonder what I knitted with. Hmm. I think I did them on a six. This is like I'm so sorry. I believe it was a size six. I'm planning on um, using a six to put the thumb in. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Whatever the outcome, I'm going with it so I can get them finished and I can wear them for it. Well, let's see, March. It's chilly here in March. I keep thinking it's later in the year. I probably can get uh, at least six weeks out of them, if not a couple of months. And um, yeah, there we go. So that's my knitting for, um, for right now. I do have, I should be honest with you, I am working on another project. I don't know if I like it or not. I, I just, I don't know. I am not having a good time with the knitting right now. Uh, it's like any project, larger project, uh, I just, I don't know, I get into it and I don't really like it. I attempted to do a knit along. <laughs> that was a disaster. I didn't even make my own knit along project. That's how bad it was. In my defense, I uh, started it while I was busy doing the great room switch of 2019. Um, and you might notice that this looks different. I know it's really plain. I, um, I think I know what I wanna put on this wall, but I haven't made it yet. I don't want to just slap all the same stuff back up again. Um, I just don't. I I had so much clutter on my walls that um, I was feeling suffocated. And I don't have anything up. Not in this room, in my bedroom. I put a couple of little things up. Not much. And I'm liking it. It just feels fresher to me. And it's certainly easier for me to keep it clean because I don't have all that little cha-chas to keep dusted. And I have a dusty house. I don't know why it's dusty in here. Uh, so not having extra stuff to dust is helpful for me. Uh, but anyway, what you see behind me is um, this, obviously the sewing machine. So this table uh, used to be out in the garage and it's where I filmed all my tutorials and things like that. I would pop up the um, garage door and film out there uh, and it was uh, it was tough because you know you have weather like this who wants to sit out there in 40 degrees and no sunshine and film anything it's just cold so I brought it in it works out well because I can put my uh, cutting mat on there I can leave it out all the time I actually have two of them so that I can do larger cuts of fabric uh, I think that uh, when the time comes I'm doing larger cuts I'll just do it in the dining room. It's easy enough. I can just take the cutting mat out there and, and cut the bigger pieces. But for the small things I've been doing, this is perfect. No problem at all. Uh, and in fact, I've been loving it because uh, the lighting is good in here for me. Um, my machine is set up all the time, so I'm really using it. Um, over to the side, what you can't see is my computer is right over there. And um, then I can listen to music, which has been nice, uh, podcast, 
um, videos if I want them on in the background, whatever, but I have found that putting on <clears throat> classical music and sewing has been amazing for me. Um, what I like about sewing so much is that I find you have to be right there. So if you drift off, you let your thoughts wander, you're not like paying attention, you're going to have uh, seams that aren't straight, you're going to mess up something. You're not going to follow your curve like you need to. It's like you really have to be just right there, right with that, that stitch. <laughs> you have to pay attention to each stitch and you have to remember to breathe. Uh, it's a real tendency to want to hold your breath because I guess concentrating so much. So putting on nice classical music and being so focused on just a stitch at a time and remembering to breathe, that has been really good for me. Um, and I like it. With knitting, uh, I don't do a lot of complicated knits. I, honestly, the um, this little bit of lace panel, that's about as complicated as I get when I'm uh, working on knitting and this isn't bad. It's like a, an eight round repeat um, and the rest of it's just knit to purl to. So uh, I do mostly uh, TV knitting when I'm knitting and it's like my mind wanders, I'm kind of watching a show, but I'm thinking about other stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm just all over the place. But when I sew, I have to really pay attention and it pulls me in. And I think that might be part of why I like it so much. I also like it because I can start and finish something. And with knitting, it just, I don't know, it goes on and on for me. Uh, it can be hard to actually finish the projects, as you can see with the, the thumbs up being done. That should have been finished. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, picking up the stitches and I, I don't know. It's just a mental block to finishing sometimes. Uh, but the sewing, I find I can get it done. So let me show you what I've been making because I'm super proud of it and I love it so much. <laughs> and I just feel like it's this whole new uh, dawn of my creative and crafty life. So let me show you what I've got. I'm super into making bags. I really like bags. Um, and I made this drawstring bag. And I made this using um, a YouTube tutorial. I will link to it. This was from um, Made Every Day by uh, Dana, who I really like. Um, the only thing I don't like about this bag is it's not lined. Uh, I really like my bags to be lined. And um, like I hadn't sewn in a while, like, it's like I started, I used to sew as a younger person. And when I say younger person, I mean much younger person, like um, 25 years ago. Yeah, like 25 years ago is the last time I've been on a sewing machine. And, um, but we've always had one because my mom liked to sew, so she always kept one around. And uh, so we had the machine. And then last summer when I hit my, what I call wall of burnout, and it was just, I don't know, uh, tired of life basically. Um, I really got into my blueprint membership and uh, said, that's it. I'm going to do the sewing. I'm just going to take a break from blogging and uh, making a lot of videos and the whole thing and I'm just gonna sew and that's what I did and I've loved it and it was the smartest thing I have done in a very long time uh, but then um, <laughs> so that lasted for about six weeks and then the fall came and we had back-to-back uh, -back hurricanes which was a complete nightmare for us uh, and then I started a part-time job and that took all of my time. 
you know, even though it's supposed to be uh, three or four days a week, what I found was I was so tired when I came home, I was just worthless. And then I had to catch up on all of, you know, your life responsibilities, the you know, cleaning and shopping and errands and stuff on those couple of precious days off. And so I wasn't sewing anymore. So that happened. Um, so, and, and then it was like, it was out in the dining room and it was dark and it was, you know, there was a lot going on. So when I got these rooms switched out, which I did in January, I said, I'm going to make a sewing area so that I have it set up. It's there. It's neat. It's clean. I can access all of my stuff. And that's what I did. And it's really working for me. So this was my first project back to sewing. And um, I used the wrong interfacing. <laughs> it's way too heavy. It just feels like a, it feels like a, like a board, which would be fine on like a smaller um, bag, clutch bag, but for a drawstring, I think it really needs a lighter weight interface. But I learned how to make a drawstring bag, and I think it's really pretty. And the fabric, I love, love this fabric. I went back to get more of it, and I literally got the last yard on the bolt. So I don't know if they've gotten any more. Uh, be going back to Joanne's maybe this week. Uh, they've got zippers on sale, buy three, get three free. That's a good deal. So I'm going to go take advantage of that. Uh, and I will be looking for more of this because I want everything in this fabric. It's beautiful. Okay. So that was, um, the first thing I made. The second thing I made, it has its own video and, um, that will be out probably next week, maybe the week after. I haven't decided when I'm going to put that one out. Um, but I have made this project before and you can see it over here. And um, it's this. And isn't that cute? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, this little pattern is by um, Swootson Says. Uh, her name is Stephanie and uh, I really like her stuff. Uh, I've made her um, her little felt craft kittens. I've shared them both here on the channel and on my blog. And I've done a couple of projects using those kittens. So I highly recommend doing those. But this little bunny, she makes it using bandana fabric. And I used um, this because I had it in my stash. And what I like so much about this is you get to do two different crafts in one. So you're doing some embroidery on the face, which is an, it's a good, simple project and you're sewing and you're sewing on curves, which is, it's tricky getting the little ears just straight. That's, you know, it takes a little practice. And like I said, you know, you gotta be really, you know, one with the stitching to go around a small curve. So I made two of them. Isn't that cute? Now my um, personal hack on doing these are that um, I did satin stitch noses. I added a little bit to the uh, eyelashes and then I gave them freckles because I just think that's cute. And I also used linen because um, I do most of my embroidery projects on linen. And um, I just like cut it with pinking shears to help with fraying and um, did running stitch to put them on. And they're just a little bit stuffed. And then on the back, they do have little tails. So this, this is a cute project. <laughs> I love this project. <laughs> I'm all about these little softies. I just think they're adorable. So yeah, I will say um, it took me like nine hours to make these. <laughs> So, um, I'm not the fastest person in the world, but really the, the long part of it is getting the faces done because you've got to, uh, embroider two faces. Well, I did cause I made two. Um, but anyway, it took me a while to really get them finished. I thought, Oh, I'll whip these out you know, a couple hours. No, it was all day. 
So um, keep that in mind if you want to make these for a child's uh, Easter basket, which I think this is perfect for a child's Easter basket. Um, I made this little um, bow with the little satin ribbon um, decor, decorative element. I just used tacky glue and put it on. So um, you maybe not want to do that for a baby, uh, but you know, an older little girl is going to love that. I'm going to I'm an older girl and I love it so I can tell you this is cute okay <clears throat> so I shared with you my drawstring bag and I'm gonna tell you I am like just I'm a freak for making bags I love it so much and I am excited to learn that I am not alone that apparently um, being a bag lady is a very uh, popular hobby amongst uh, sewists. So let me show you what I've been doing. Let me show you what I made last summer. This is where I started. And this is the first, whoop, first bags I made. And I was, I'm still proud of it. And I do have something in there. I'm not going to show it to you in this video because the video will be too long. It's already getting to be a little long. But I made this little um, two, two fabrics with some top stitching. Um, everything's lined. Oh, you know what this is? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this is my, this is my other whip. Um, gosh, okay. So anyway, here's the inside. I guess I can show this to you. Uh, so this is what I'm working on. Um, the other whip. This is like a, a schizophrenic, schizophrenic or bipolar, I don't know which, um, podcast, but this is my, this is my mindless knitting whip. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just a whole bunch of seed stitch. Um, I'm working off of a pattern in a book <clears throat> and she used all one by one rib and I was like well I'll go with um, seed stitch because it lays nice and flat and basically you what you do is you're going to knit a bunch of this I think you need like four and a half inches and then you're going to join it and then it comes around and it's going to be a um, like a cowl but I don't know I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. <sighs> this is some uh, really old <clears throat> deep dive stash yarn. And you can see I ripped and um, reballed it because I didn't like the other project. That was the knit along that I didn't finish. And I'm not sure I, I want to finish that. That might get ripped. And you know what? I might just donate the damn yarn because apparently I'm not in love with it. So we'll see. But the bag I really like. <laughs> so this is what I made last summer. Let me show you what I made this week. Yeah, within the last week, this is what I made. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't, isn't that beautiful? I am so proud of that. I just think it looks beautiful. Let me show you inside. I even um, pattern matched the pocket. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm I'm just so proud of it. A little tab. I I think it's beautiful. I was able to do a better squared bottom. Um, I got a ham. Taylor's ham to help me with pressing out these bottom seams because I want a better press on those. It's too big for these small bags. So I've got to order a smaller ham, which I found on a, a website that is a lot cheaper than Joanne's. But look how pretty that is. I top stitched all across the top. And I made all this stuff using um, the simple bag class on Blueprint. And I'm going to tell you something. I love my blueprint. This is not sponsored. Um, I've been with Craftsy pretty much since the beginning. And um, 
I don't know, was kind of reluctant on the, the blueprint model, but I gotta tell you, I love it. I use it a lot. I've watched a lot of sewing classes. I have learned a lot. I'm planning my next series of things to make. Um, they have a lot of bag making classes, which I think are good because you can build your skills so well. So it's like I'm learning about um, zippers and seaming and pressing out and just so many things. So anyway, I made that one. And then I made this one. And this is a little bit taller. Oh God. This is going to be, this is going to be a gift for somebody. I'm not gonna say who, but they're gonna get this as a surprise. It won't be a complete surprise because I have to ask them for their mailing address, but um, let's see inside, I did that same chevron. Um, it's going to be somebody that I am friends with on YouTube and Instagram, and I just know she'll love this. <clears throat> and she works really hard and does really good videos, so I'm going to send her this because I think it's adorable. Let me make that. It's like little, if you don't recognize, they're like little, um, like pops inspired. Uh, golden Trio characters and of course I say Golden Trio if you don't know that's it's Harry Potter <laughs> and I just think it's so cute and this is also Harry Potter of course but look at how far I've come in terms of my skills in just a few months I'm just like just keep making stuff you know that's how you improve you just keep making stuff so I made those and I will say I did buy the fabric um, specifically to make bags uh, so I bought that chevron let me turn this back up I bought that chevron to go with uh, that uh, Harry Potter design so that was planned I knew I wanted to make the bags um, the next uh, set I'm going to show you, I also bought because I knew I wanted to make bags. And I bought all this stuff last summer. It's been sitting there. Not the, the Harry Potter stuff I bought maybe around Christmas time, maybe in the fall. That's the, what I'm learning is that every year at Joanne, they do uh, new licensed prints for uh, Harry Potter stuff they do the Disney movies um, they have peanuts all that kind of stuff that's all considered licensed characters and prints so um, that stuff changes every fall um, and this is another licensed print which I just I mean <laughs> come on how cute is that I wish I had purchased more because now you can't get it I got this uh, way last summer and I got it in our Joann's uh, before they uh, moved into the new store. So our old Joann's was like a really crappy, uh, dingy, depressing, very small, cramped hole in the wall, basically. And they took over when the Office Depot moved out and now it's like the, the newer style store and it is beautiful. Um, but they don't have any of this, unfortunately. This is gone. Um, so things like these are limited. Uh, when I bought it, I knew I wanted to do bags and uh, inside I put this galaxy and you can't really see it. Um, but I did um, pocket um, and it kind of goes with this and I made this using some jelly roll fabric that I picked up but I liked it because it's got polka dots and there's actually quite a bit of polka dotting like you can see it here so it picked up really well anyway I made one with a uh, an aqua and I made one with a yellow Love them so much. Uh, so I got these for uh, this fabric uh, to make a gift for a friend uh, who is like 
I don't know, we haven't talked in years. It has the same, isn't that gorgeous? I love that sunshine yellow with that blue. And, oh, I love it so much. This is probably gonna be mine because I love yellow so much. Um, but anyway, I knew I wanted to uh, make this into a project for this friend who uh, we don't talk anymore. Um, I don't know. She says I did something that I don't remember doing and she doesn't talk to me anymore because of it. Um, but you know what? That's fine. Um, I still want her to have the bag because it's so cute. And she is a Star Trek fanatic. If you don't know, this is Star Trek. Um, and let me show you what else I made to go with it. This is, it's so crazy. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. So this is my first time doing letters and it probably shows, but I still think it's cute. And uh, if you don't know, this is what Spock says a lot. <laughs> and in fact, in the print, he's saying it. So uh, it fits in here nice and neat. So I'm going to um, send her as a surprise gift, this little hoop tucked into this bag and just wish her a happy birthday because her birthday is coming up. Um, I haven't finished the back. I did the little um, the little finger pleating and the running stitch, but I'm going to cut um, felt and fill that in so that looks finished. But I think it's so cute. And I, this is my own design and it sort of has me um, interested in doing some embroidery designs um you know i have an etsy shop where i have uh, knitting patterns and i have uh, some mugs and i'm considering doing some simple uh, embroidery downloads also because that is cute um yeah so i will let you know and lastly i have uh two more <laughs> little bags to show this is really pretty. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Another drawstring. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So this one, it's got like little pockety things out here. And then you have this cute little trim or decorative element. And then um, inside. So basically your, your interior is the same as this fabric. And then you have this. Um, secondary fabric that kind of peeks through and then you just pull it and you get this cute as a button little drawstring and this is another YouTube video so I'll link over to that uh, this is from I think she's so very easy I love this pattern oh my goodness so I made that one and I made this one isn't that cute with the polka dot this is mine so I'm keeping this one. And you know what? I'm going to use this as a little um, going out purse because it's adorable. Uh, this one, when I did the um, top stitching, I used white. And I really like how it shows up. And I love how this uh, rope, like it just frays at those ends. Isn't that, a, oh, it's just adorable. So this one I did with the natural rope. I really think is probably my favorite and this one's in the white which I still think is pretty and I like it with that um, the aqua but I think the natural is my favorite going forward so that's probably what I'll stick to um, this was all Joanne stuff and the uh, lining fabrics I I had in stash um, so everything's from stash which I like um, this one I top stitched using a matching thread and then there you can see with the contrast thread so um, you know with the bags it gives you a chance to be really creative um, and you're making a small project so you're making it quickly it gives you a chance to experiment without feeling like you know it, it goes on for months like if you knit a sweater 
some people are like amazing. They're able to crank out sweaters in under a month. I can't do that. Like I made a really gigantic shawl. It took me uh, five solid months to get that thing made. And you know what? I never wear it. So there's that. But this I'm using because I'm going out with the girls on Saturday night and we're having dinner and then we're going to go see the new, um, I think it's Melissa McCarthy in the movie. I don't remember. Anyway, it's like a girl's movie. So we're all getting together and I'm going to use that for my purse. Okay, that's it. I'm going to uh, sign off for this video for today and I'll see you in the next one. And I hope that you have a beautiful week wherever you are and that you are happy making something you enjoy. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.